What's up everybody? This is Libra Reese and I wanted to do this quick video for the Guild Wars 2 Combat Mode mod by PvP Project. Now before I continue this video, I do need to say that if you decide to use this mod, you do so entirely at your own risk. ArenaNet has not officially approved this mod and who knows if they ever will. However, the mod itself does not seem to break the terms of service as it doesn't hook into the game process itself and it doesn't really give you an unfair advantage. It's just an auto hotkey script that draws a reticle on your screen and holds down right click. But uh, yeah, just needed to get that out of the way. Anyways, you will need auto hotkey installed for the mod to work and I'll put the link to that and everything else in the description. This mod is absolutely phenomenal. I've been using it for quite a while now and I'm really enjoying it. It basically makes this game like Terra or some other MMO FPS, maybe like Forge if you're familiar with that. You will need to run the game in full screen windowed mode for it to work and that's pretty easy to set. You just go to your graphics settings and then there's some general options that we'll go over later on that you need to do to make the mod work properly. But I'm just showing off some gameplay here, fighting some drakes here in ore, showing off how this mod works. You can see the little reticle in the middle of the screen and I'm just shooting wherever I aim. So that's pretty nice. Uh, for ground targeted AOEs, it goes where the reticles aim so you've kind of got to point at the ground and fire it off and I'll show off how it works with grenades here in a second in a little bit. There we go. Throwing the grenades. As you can see, they all go where the reticle's at. Just how you'd expect in any FPS or anything like that. And now, before we get to a little more gameplay, showing the actual script. This is what it looks like when you extract it all. Here's the custom, the customized.txt file where you can adjust the binds so you don't have to go with the ones that the script author made. And everything's really well commented, so you can basically read read the whole thing and figure out what you need to change or what you want to change in order to tweak it to how you'd like it. That's pretty nice. Here is the actual auto hotkey script. You really won't have to mess with this. You can just look at it if you want. If you want to change the toggle key that activates the mod, you can do so in this file. As you can see there, left, well, I set mine to left alt up, but uh, by default I think it's tab. But you can basically just tweak everything to your heart's content. So that's that. Now also the readme file, I do advise you to go through this because everything is explained in detail here step by step what you need to do to set up Guild Wars 2 to work properly with it. It's pretty simple, it'll take you about two minutes. Uh, you do need to ch set auto targeting on, promote skill target off, and fast ground targeting on. You can have fast ground targeting off too if you want, but uh, it works better with it on in my opinion because then you don't actually have to manually target the AOEs. And those are in-game settings, not script settings or anything like that, just to clarify. And then we have the Infos and Files folder, which is where all the crosshairs are going to be located. And you don't have to mess with the script in here. There's the crosshair template if you want to make your own, but there's all the different crosshairs that are included with this script. This is the 1.0 release, by the way, so I'm sure he'll be doing updates in the future. Now, using it underwater, you use it exactly the same way. You don't really have to manually target anything, you just aim and fire, and the game will promote it to or make it your target because that's how you set it in the general settings and yeah I mean there's not really much else to say other than just showing off the combat because it works just like any other FPS game except for the fact that uh, uh, if you do try to like manu truly manually aim that's not really going to work because the game will automatically auto target the enemies but makes the game a lot more action oriented in my opinion. I don't think you'd want to use this in PvP because to some extent you're relying on aim and that might make things more difficult than just using the default tab targeting stuff. But in PvE this is definitely the way to go in my opinion. It makes the game much more fluid, much more fun, but not to each his own. Some people might like the default stuff better. But I'm really enjoying this. I encourage you to give it a try again. It is at your own risk. I just gotta say that because ArenaNet, of course, didn't officially approve it or anything like that. But, uh, yeah. Also, another cool thing about the script is that, at least in this version, if you push M or I or any of like the default keys to open up the panels, it cancels the script, so you can click what you need to. And then, of course, you just toggle it back on when you're ready to play again when you're back in the combat. Other than that, there's not much else to say. Enjoy a little bit of combat that's left in this video and if you have any questions comments or concerns let me know as always I will put the links to everything you need to know in the description including the download link and all that and uh, Yeah, 
Blueberries. Oh, 